Bros and a Bro Face to you all! Welcome to Drama Friday, where we were just discussing the merits of CC's Pizza and its vanilla pudding and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, Popeye's chicken and biscuits. And I don't like biscuits. So what am I going to do? Yeah, they're buttery. I don't eat butter. What am I supposed to do, man? Look at all you wonderful people. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, man. Look at all these guys. It's fucking awesome. I love my community. You guys are the shit. The absolute mutts nuts, as we'd say in the UK. Look at this. Look at it. Look at that. How can you ask for more than that every Friday? It's awesome. It's the best thing ever. It is absolutely the best thing ever. So I thank every single one of you every week for that, because it's cool. Right, let's do some quick updates before we jump into some drama. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles. Um, I did reveal some spoilers. Yeah, Ragnar's asking for it. Can you play that clip again? No. Uh, the Legacy of the Wallet. Where's the alpha stuff, bitch? You haven't posted anything in like five days. I know, man. I know. I have a schedule. I have a schedule, which we will get to, hopefully. Or otherwise, I've overdone my schedule, which is entirely possible. And the main feedback from the guys who saw the schedule is that's impossible. But I'm going to try. And the schedule will be something like two weeks of making YouTube videos, which will... Be like one video a day over the month, right? A week of stream week, right? While I'm simultaneously writing the next legacy and then organizing the filming of that and then producing that over the next week. That should be the schedule and then bump it restarts again. So this week I have uh, been doing the legacy video. I have. I've been working nonstop. I'm averaging, if I was to estimate, I'm about seven hours per minute because I had to do a lot of special effects work and I don't know how to do that. So educational it has been. And tiring. I'm really tired. <laughs> like, really, really tired. But we're going to pull one more all-nighter tonight uh, in order to get that finished. So that will be released for the Patreon bros. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon, I'm aiming for. We have a web show tomorrow where with me and Ghosty are going to be sat here. And we'll be talking about the legacy and stuff. And also, I have a box about this big. This box of stuff that's arrived from Blizzard. So... What's in there? I don't know. I've been really good. It's taped up to fuck. Uh, but if there's nothing in there we don't want, because we get first priority. Uh, if there's nothing in there we don't want, then we'll gladly just, you know, <laughs> give that away. That'll be it. So I don't know what's in it. I have no idea uh, what's in it. But uh, Ghosty almost opened it last night while we were doing our final pickup shots for the Legacy. Uh, but I managed to hold him, hold him steady, hold him fast. So we'll be opening that. What's in the box? I don't know. Uh, so we'll do that on the web show. It's the biggest thing we've ever received through the PO box. It's enormous. It's absolutely enormous. It was like, couldn't squeeze through the door, uh, which you can't see because it's a green screen. But it, there's a door behind me. Did you know that? Science, right? Fourth wall, baby. All that stuff's behind there. So, web show there. So, we should have the, the legacy video out for the Patreon guys tomorrow. Then it comes out a week later for everybody else. That's the way it is because those guys paid for the stuff that made it happen. Way! And uh, then I'll be back to WoW because there's all new alpha updates. And I've not been there. And we're supposed to be like the premier forefront channel for that stuff. Times are changing, man. I just didn't have the time. I had to prioritize. I had to get the legacy done. I was balls deep into it when that alpha update came, which came with the new dungeon, which everybody tells me over Skype is really bad because it's the Violet Hold, again, which was everybody's favorite dungeon. Right? Didn't you love it the first time? Wasn't it the best when it was the random daily dungeon? Why? Just keep the door locked. I don't know. What's wrong with these Dalaran guards? They can't seem to keep their demons prisoned. I don't understand. <laughs> You're bad prison guards, from what I can tell. Really bad. Really, you should be fired. If you had two outbreaks, you'd be fired. And you should be fired, from what I can tell. Um, we've also got some new classes and stuff. So I'll be jumping into that hopefully Sunday night, realistically. I'm going to take like at least a full day off. I'm going to do an all-nighter tonight, finish the legacy, get it out there for those guys to watch. And then I'm going to just have a day with my kids. And that's that's my plan. I loved Violet Hole, dude. What? Nobody loves Violet Hole. Nobody loves Violet Hole. <laughs> Nobody. Especially when you've just released so many cool dungeons. The Vault of the Wardens is one of the best five mans they have ever made. It's so good. And then Violet Hole came. What? Why? I don't know. Uh, but that's the situation. That's what we're actually doing. I like Violet Hole. Violet Hole wasn't quick. You couldn't even speedrun it. It was awful. Oh my god. So bad. So, so bad. Anyway, let's go to the drama. Now, we're going to pre-warn you guys, because usually we get the names from the Patreon, but I don't know what's going on, but... Wah, wah, wah. It's not working, so I can't see any of your names. So, good news for the live chat, though. I'll have to use the names from there, but it's not my fault. I'm not dissing you guys. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I've been trying for 30 minutes to get that page to load. 
It's not happening. I tried, I tried three browsers. Three browsers, but I can't see any of your names. So that doesn't work at all, does it? <laughs> that doesn't work at all. I have three stories lined up in front of me about Realm First. Oh, yeah. Them Realm First. That's what we care about. Uh, I also got... Um, I was part of the reason that Have Group Will Travel got removed from WoW. That's a bold statement, and I consider it shenanigans, because I know why it was removed, and it's not the reason in your story. But still, I enjoy, I enjoy the effort. And also we have a return. Some of you may remember our scumbag who ganked the guy who was about to bang the gong in Anchorage 40. You may remember that story. It wasn't that long ago. He has returned with vigor and venom, because he didn't like... The names I called him through his story. Uh, so now he's angry at me. Now he's angry at me. I know. Like, So we'll see how that goes on. Let's kick off with our realm first. It's a relatively short story. We've got two short stories and one like quite long one. So we'll do like short, long, short. That works, right? Okay. That should be pretty good. Um, okay. <clears throat> we need a guild master who's a lady. Lady guild master. What am I doing? We do this now. Okay. Boom. I'm just so old school on this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Badunk. Okay, so I need a lady. Who's our lady? Who have we got? Ysaria. You'll do. In pink. I'm gonna I mean come on, you call yourself Ysaria and in pink. So if you're a guy, you understand, right? Who's a GM? And we need uh, I'm a lady. <laughs> I'm a lady. Uh let's go with uh I see a lot of lady names actually. Uh Brim Snapper. I know what brim snapping is. Ha ha ha. Yes, I do. Brim snapper, who is a priest officer. And two unnamed characters. Okay, so that will do nicely. So I have two named characters in this one. There we go. That's everybody. Is everybody ready? Are you all feeling good? I'm so glad you guys are all here. Let's chill out and have some drama. This is awesome for me. I've been sat here just in a cave for the last like eight days uh so yeah i'm more than happy to do this let's rock and or roll my realm first what do you get a realm first in let's put a question to the chat <laughs> let's put a question to the chat what did he get a realm first in that's what we want to know what did he get a realm first in that's the question i put to you I had started playing Cataclysm and reached level cap on my Troll DK. I was going to let that sink in with you for a minute. He chose a Troll DK. Nobody does that. If I was to arm research Troll DKs, there'd be like six in the universe. In the millions of World of Warcraft subscribers, there's like six Troll Death Knights. Because nobody's that stupid. Have you seen how low you go with a two-handed weapon? Really? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? You must have seen it. You know you wear no shoes. As a plate-wearing class. You are a plate-wearing class with no boots. Just let that settle, settle in for a minute. Let me settle in. Low-level ganking. <laughs> I can only be a troll. Why do you hate troll? I love troll hunters. I do. And troll shamans as well. Uh, give me a break. I was a noob and I liked tusks. You like polishing your tusk. I get it. Okay. In the middle of the Dragon Soul raiding period is when he made his DK. Right? So he had, a, he had all the choices in the world. I had made it through normal Dragon Soul as a relative noob and had made some heroic progression with my guild, which I thought was amazing, right? Heroic Dragon Soul? Dude, serious game face going on. I am the type of person who will do anything to get a giggle, right? I'll paint my dick neon, neon green. I'll do it. No worries. Get a bit of a giggle. I was well liked among my guildies. I was very, very excited about the coming Mists of Pandaria expansion because I never witnessed anything like a new expansion in World of Warcraft. I had heard of World First and Realm First and decided that I wanted to have a Realm First. Ysaria, my guildmaster and friend, told me that there was also profession realm first for getting to max level in a profession <laughs> so being the jokester that i am <laughs> i decided that i would focus my full attention on realm first fishing fuck yeah buddy for a giggle this new expansion is going to launch it's going to be amazing i am going to start fishing who the fuck are you people why are you doing that why 
Do you show off? I've got to ask you, right? I've got to ask you. I've got to ask you the question. Let me put it to you plainly. Do you link it to people as like something you did? I got realm first fishing. Like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to me. Boom. There it is. Right? Black and white. Right there. Did it. Do you link? Do you do that? I'm genuinely curious if you did that. I just, I just like, do you do that? I do do that, no joke. <laughs> Denzel's like, yeah, I tell everybody. I meet them. I just walk around Ogrimmar just like linking it to them all. <laughs> just linking it to them all. <laughs> it's a valuable commodity. From the training house, right? Who's fishing for fish? Are you mad? Are you absolutely, what are you doing? If you're fishing for fish in Wilds of Draenor, I hope it's for Nat Bagel. And that's it. And that is the only reason. That is it. Beyond that, you're not fishing in Wilds of Draenor. No way. That is crazy. That is nuts. You do whatever you want with your subscription time. I'm just saying, don't do that. Right? I'm saying do whatever you want, but don't do that. That's all I'm saying to you. I'm just educating you a little bit. Just trying to help you out a bit. So, we're going for the fishing achievement. I actually started to take it really seriously. Right? It's not a joke. I don't want any of you guys laughing. I see you. No laughing. This is fucking serious now. Fishing achievement, right? Get in the mindset. We're going for it. Max detail, right? Min-maxing our fishing skills. I stocked up on the most lures that I could fit in my bags. Good move, good move. While we were farming potions, and flasks, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Lures. Gotta get, gotta get my lure on. <clears throat> okay. I farmed hardcore for the best fishing pole that I could find. Good man. The golden bedazzled one. Is that better than the competition one that I have? I got it on the first try. Is it better than that one? I don't know. I've never seen the Golden Bedazzled one. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. If it is better. If it's not better, I'm not impressed. You should have won the competition. Stranglethorn Fishing Extravaganza. Okay. Good man. Good man. Okay. So we've got our Golden Bedazzled pole. Right? We've got a shiny dick. Bag full of lures. We're ready to go. Jokester. Jokester. <clears throat> I had also gotten the fishing hat. We've got everything we need. We've got everything that we need. It increased my fishing skill. As soon as Mr. Pandaria went live, I was ready. I came online. I was delighted to see that in the few minutes of the servers being live, no one had gotten the fishing achievement. I completed the horde opening sequence on the airship. And as soon as I touched ground in Pandaria, set up camp. Fishing is a go. Serious face. Five minutes in. Yeah? Five minutes in. I was joined by an orc warrior. He whispered me asking what the fuck I was doing. I told him that I was attempting to get the realm first achievement for fishing. The orc began to rage the whispers would not stop yelling that he was also there for the achieve and that he had been preparing for this for months this was his moment and you jokester are going to take it away I was telling my guildies in vent we all had a bit of a giggle I simply laughed and said, good luck, pal. Yeah? Good luck, pal. Five minutes ahead of you, buddy. Get over it. <sighs> he had calmed down. And he actually sat next to me to get his fish on. When suddenly, an alliance rogue. The alliance rogue popped out of nowhere and gank started ganking me. I turned around and tried to defend myself, but I had a fishing pole in my hand. Bedazzled or not, it could not take on the rogue. And I died. As I was running to my body, I received another whisper from the warrior. Did you like that rogue? I realized that it was obviously one of his alliance friends and had gotten to come and kill me to preserve his realm first achieve. All was at risk. It pissed me off to no end. I told my guildies in vent what was going down, but they simply laughed. I ran back to my corpse 
equipped my weapons. I got lucky with the death and decay, troll style, and got the little bastard out of stealth. I pwned that noob. He was probably AFK. That explains a lot about a troll DK ganking. That explains a lot. Probably AFK. Probably AFK. We got it. I started back fishing. Whispered the warrior back saying that I was still ahead of him. No way he had made up those five minutes. Another minute went by. I thought all was well. Maybe he had given up on cheating to get the realm first fishing achievement. Cheating. Can't we have an honest angling contest anymore? In this day and age, people, I ask you, as a human being to another, we just want to fish fairly. Two rogues. Two rogues came out of stealth. Stunlocked me to death. I was pissed. I had to run back to my body a second time as the spawn point was decently far away. This time when I told my guildies, two of them responded. The GM, Ysaria, a brim snapper, came to my aid. These were two of my best friends in guild. And they wanted to see me get this achievement as much as I wanted to get it. Ysaria used her reign of fire to keep the rogues away. While Brim Snapper kept his power word shield on me. The rogues attacked another two times. Failing both. But unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately. The disruption was enough. That the orc warrior. Had slipped ahead. In fishing levels. I was angry and sad all at the same time. I had been cheated out of my realm first. In such a scummy way. That I actually wrote a ticket to Blizzard. It's not fair, Blizz. Look at my laws. Look at it. All for nothing. Of course, Blizzard didn't give a shit. My two guildies and I stood by. While the warrior got his realm first achievement for Pandaren fishing. Looking back. It is one of my fondest memories in WoW. Just hanging out in vent, trashing the warrior and his rogue friends. It was a great way to spend the first hour or so of the new expansion. But my dreams were still shattered. I did go on to enjoy Mop and all of the dailies that it had to offer. But never again will I attempt to get the fishing achievement. Can we all say a prayer for our man who was unjustly unjustly cheated out of such a prestigious title and never again will he have the chance rip rip achieve bible thumps all round bible thumps all round right we need loads of people for this one <laughs> let's move on okay <clears throat> fishing <laughs> who are you guys i really don't know now i know i can't believe the guy had point defense you got outplayed I have to pay respect. F for days. F for days. Right. I've got loads of names in this one. Uh, uh, uh. Do, 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 do. Mm, did you not list the characters? Uh. Okay. We need a female shaman. Yeah, female shaman. Where's all the girlies gone? I saw y'all before. Wah, wah, wah. Mm. Oh my god. Lilatra. Lilatra. Lilatra, you can be the enhancement shaman. Although I believe you may be a female orc. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to put yes. <laughs> uh, there's quite a few uh, A female undead what All the girls are in <laughs> All the girlies are in uh, da, 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 da. Um, Oh my god <laughs> I actually prefer the Patreon system It's so much easier than this um, Puddle I know, you, I, I, know, I don't think you're a girl But we'll go with it anyway <laughs> You're a lock Ah, holy paladin could this might be too long and i'll have to delete the titles uh 
a prop pally will be pledge. Yeah, it's gonna be too long, so I'm just gonna put the names. And Mr. Protty. I'm just gonna go with Protty. Protty! He is a warlock. Ooh, okay. I'm bound to fuck these names up. Okay, good. That works. Lilatra, Puddle, Curd, Pledge, Mr. Protty. Welcome to the squad. We should have some fun here, hopefully. Okay. A hollow preacher. Hollow preacher. A big gentleman's bro fist to Sir Ghost a lot of Swaggington, if they're denied. Yeah? Intentional denial. Just want to put that out there. And one right to your stomach for calling me a manatide bitch. I don't remember doing it, but I was probably correct. Vanilla Shaman, right? Know your role. Yeah? Know your role. Just all I was going to say. And a smooth, old school bro fist, death coil, right into the middle of your audience. Boom, that's you guys. Seeing that you seem to like the story of being a total fuck ass, <laughs> fuck idiot in vanilla, and my guild is pestering me to tell me about me in TBC, I decide to write down my further endeavors in that drama crusade. This story takes place throughout the entire expansion, so I decide to send you a chapter each week because I'm a smart ass dickhead. <laughs> that's, that says that in the story, that wasn't me. <laughs> Today there shall be names though. For some clarification as to what happened. So if you don't remember anyway of that story, to catch you up, uh, our man felt jilted, jilted ex lover, out of getting the uh, banging the gong on his server for the Ankaraj opening event. Rip, never forget, will never happen again. And luckily, those of us who were there. Now, as such, he decided to gank the guy who was about to do it, who was the selected chosen one, and then banged the gong himself immediately afterwards, claiming all the goodies that came along with that. So, well, at that moment in time, I couldn't give less of a shit about an ambushed paladin, which is the guy they killed. And to be fair, you can't steal from a paladin because they are worthless pieces of shit to start with. Not my words. I had to slash dance at the gong <laughs> while the victory march was playing in my head and shouting Scarab Lord bitches in general chat. Okay. I had to steamroll my ass into AQ20 and avoid all the alliance players who were instantly trying to kill me. And I had to avoid raid difficulty elite mobs trying to kill me at the same time. So yeah, it was a bit of a YOLO moment. Did I stop being an asshole after switching to a healer? No. And now you shall see how that went down. Are we ready? Now we're all up to date. Now we know what's going on. Let us begin our tale of drama. So Vanilla came to a close. We had never defeated Kel'Thuzad. Bad Manatides. Was it? It was. It was, wasn't it? Admit it. You can tell us. You can, no, one, no one's watching. Between me and you, definitely. Right? For sure. If you'd have done crispier Manatides, Kel'Thuzad would have been dead. And the Burning Crusade was about to hit the stores. There was still war lingering somewhere in the background, but every fresh level 60 having top level PvP weapons camping the Nax entrance made no sense at all. You gotta know though that at the start of Nax we had 55 or so raiders in our active roster. And the nearer TBC drew, the more people started joining. At one point we had 73 active raiders in our guild. <laughs> Bench 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 on a release date with this kind of an armed force we could easily take down the lesser of the alliance capitals like darnassus <laughs> 73 nax raiders versus darnassus <laughs> though we didn't as it was too far to get to <laughs> I'm not going all the way to Darnassus. <laughs> so anyway, so the day of the TBC launch, we decided we wouldn't go to some stupid launch event. No, no, no. We camped the Dark Portal to gank us some alliance. <sighs> what better way to start an expansion? Every server crashed when the Dark Portal opened. I remember that. Then the horrified screams of alliance ladyboys running in terror and begging for their lives. It was delicious and satisfying. Leveling went smoothly as we did it in groups. So instead of getting ganked, we were the gankers. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you. Now, now you know the premise and the situation of the guild and me in the Burning Crusade. 
So chapter what then? A shitlord GM. So after the initial type of <laughs> hype of TBC, there were still 53 Raiders left on our roster. What do I always tell you? Overbook. Overbook every single time when a new expansion is coming. Overbook. You need to do that. You have to overbook. Look at all the people who just disappeared because they didn't like TBC. Losers. Best expansion. Best expansion. This meant that we would have to establish a team two. Yeah? 25 man raids, 53 people, team two time. And no one liked the idea. Like, especially the most vocal. Who were the most vocal about team two? Can you imagine who it was? Surprise, surprise. Who's the most vocal when a team two idea is brought up? Of course, the most vo vocal in our roster were the players who were dog shit. Our raid leader, Lilatra. Oh shit, she's going to make some decisions. Lilatra. The rogues? No way. <laughs> the rogues, the worst players. Yeah, Eurogot's been there. As soon as Team 2's broke, the bad players get so mad. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. That's not why I'm here. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here for that. I'm really not. I know my situation. I'm not here for that at all. Our raid leader, Lilatra, decided that the best way to decide who would become a member of Team 1 or Team 2 was through Karazhan. This also meant that we needed to make five raid leaders for Karazhan. Five. <clears throat> These were going to be appointed letters from A to E. Ah, oh, Team E? What the fuck, Team E? No way, dude, am I being a Team E. I could either be in the A team or Team E. <laughs> That's who I raid with. I'm part of Team E, Karazhan. We're stuck on Curator. Yeah. <laughs> stuck on Curator. Team E forever. <laughs> Team E for life. Uh, okay. <laughs> they were appointed letters from A to E according to their ability as a player. <laughs> Lilatra, of course, was to be the leader of A team. I was to be the leader of Team B. That's still a fail. It's still a fail. Team B is even worse than Team 2. All the way down to our GM, who is Puddle. Our GM Puddle, who is the leader of Team E. I'm sorry, Puddle. Your E team, your E team quality. That's really bad. That's the most tragic thing ever. E team quality. Congratulations. I bet you did it. I'll be honest with you, Puddle. I bet you did it as like, so people wouldn't get upset. Like, I will... I will lead Team E. I will be part. I will be the E team. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do so for for the good of the guild. For the good. Of oh, Puddle's all sad. Sorry, Puddle. <laughs> I didn't know, man. It's all good. <clears throat> oh no, Puddle. No, it changes. Sorry. Uh, of course, Puddle went insane. Why the fuck do I have to cope with the noobs and trials? He's not happy. Puddle's unimpressed. It's because you Team E material. That's the real answer. To which Lilatra kind of replied, <laughs> How many of you... <laughs> How many of you have heard this from your GM before? Spoiler alert, your GM's trying to tell you you're not a very good player. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for it? <clears throat> well, you see, Puddle. You're Irish, Lilatra. Well, you see, Puddle. The teams aren't set yet. If you have a problem after the first couple of raids, we'll move you up the teams. Which Puddle fell for immediately. It's alright, Puddle. Don't worry about being E-team, right? It's not finished yet, mate. It's just a work in progress, yeah? Yeah? Use your brain a bit. Work in progress. If it turns out that it's not for you, we'll definitely move you up. Definitely, Puddle. I got you. I got you. Alright? <laughs> Moving up to Team D. <laughs> So, yeah, it totally bummed. I had to stop there for a minute and explain to our raid leader, our mistress of raids, as I started to call her when she wasn't around. <laughs> Outside of raids, Lilatra was the most kind person you could imagine. As long as you were horde. But as soon as she entered raid mode, whoa, shit, raid mode team, boo! She turned into your typical vanilla raid leader, monster demon dragon on acid. Like the Anipsia, Anixia wipe guy. <sighs> He's a social justice warrior compared to Lilatra. You forgot to sign up? Lilatra rage. Loot ban for a week. 
rant and screaming, benched for the following two weeks. Because of that, everyone, including our GM Puddle, was intimidated by Lilatra's mere presence when in a raid group. Fucking hell. Boom, yeah? Whips out, boys. Asses to the wall. You're going to be fine. Back to the story. So on the day of our first Karazhan runs, after everyone who didn't have a key was punished. <laughs> who's the punisher? Oh, who's the enforcer of the guild? Yeah. That's going to be Curd. Oh, that's a good punishing name. <clears throat> On the day of our first Karazhan runs, after everyone who didn't have a key was punished by our raid DPS officer, Curd. He charged them a hundred gold for a summon, yelling on TeamSpeak that they were not prepared. <laughs> I see what you did, Curd. We would finally enter this awesome looking tower, and for the most part, it went quite well. Lilatra's team called the raid after beating the chess event. My t <laughs> Why? There's one boss left. Loser team A. A team's full of dickheads. Decided the Latra. Your team's full of dickheads. Unless it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. But leaving after chess? Really? <laughs> My team got a few attempts into the same encounter. Team C and D were a little bit far behind. But not too far. C being on Shade of Iran. Then Flame Reese. Oh, Flame Reese are back in Legion. Best thing ever. Amazing. Love it. I've already done two dungeons of Vault of the Wardens where Flame Wreath's in there with a guy who just couldn't get it. It was the best thing ever. It was amazing. So many memories of Shade of Aran. So many memories. Love it. C was on Shade of Aran. D team was on Curator. That Noble team. So Noble is Team D going forward, squad. Okay? Can you pass that message on for me? Team D quality. Yeah? Curator quality. Good stuff. But oh, Preacher! Oh, Preacher! Team E was a colossal mess. Flame Wreath does not block you in. You can freely move around in Flame Wreath. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I wouldn't. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> you absolutely can. Don't jump! Stop jumping! I always jumped. Jumping did nothing. You see... Their raid leader, Puddle. Oh, Puddle, what did you do? Their raid leader, Puddle, decided that he was to become a paladin in the Burning Crusade. As well as that, he would not be a holy paladin for our friends on the Horde. He would, in fact, be protection. Puddle had apparently read somewhere, or read some article, or seen some video, that a paladin with decent gear could solo tank a Tumen... The Huntsman. Boss won. And therefore, Puddle was going to do exactly that to prove how awesome he was. <sighs> I say tried. Because it didn't work out too well for Puddle. He died constantly. For example, Puddle decided that they would skip the trash on the way to Attunement. So Midnight, when he did his horsey call, <laughs> would call Zombombi horses during the fight, which destroyed Puddle or trampled the rest of the raid if he didn't get aggro on them. You see, that guy, that guy, Puddle, <laughs> Puddle didn't have a fucking clue how to tank as a pallet. It was hard to press that holy shield. I'll give him that. Not, not that he knew how to tank to begin with. He had never tanked in the history of WoW. But hey, he said, I'm the GM and I shall tank this bitch alone. Despite there being another tank in the raid. <laughs> and as group E consisted of trialists only they were not so eager to speak up against their new gm why puddle why they did eventually beat the encounter but certainly not due to puddles mad tonk skills you know there was a holy priest what's his name called pledge oh pledge the carry the holy priest called pledge who used to be a warlock in vanilla and a holy paladin 
Oh, two carry healers. That's all we need. Protty. Oh, Holy Paladin, Holy Priest, Protty and Pledge in the raid. And only due to them massively carrying Puddle's sorry ass, the group was able to, after a full three hours, defeat a Tumor the Huntsman <laughs> of Karazhan. He's dead, guys. We did it. We did it. They killed it five minutes before the raid end and had no time to clear to Moroz. Ah, oh. Hey, I was the uh, I was the raid leader of our Team 2 Karazhan, right? I took that responsibility as a Holy Paladin. And I'll tell you, we were so nervous about doing our first raid boss and like being server first and stuff. We flashed up, food buffed everything before we pulled a chumman, a chumman. We discussed tactics for like 10 minutes. And then just one shot at that piece of shit. And we're like, what the fuck? This fucking boss. <clears throat> the next day, the teams were mixed up a bit. Just a little bit. Pledge and Protty. <laughs> oh no. Pledge and Protty were moved into group A and B. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Teamy. While the other healers from A and B who fucked up big time were demoted to Teamy. Your E team material healers, get out. Get out. Under the tutelage. Of our GM puddle. But then came the time to decide who would be in which 25 man team. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. We now need to sort out A and B 25 mans. I think you know. That you wouldn't want colossal fuck ups on your Magtheridon team. No. <laughs> no you didn't. And here comes the major drama of TBC. You see puddle was assigned as on rotation by default. He didn't even qualify for Team 2. Oh, Puddle. <laughs> Puddle isn't good enough for Team 2. Out of 53 people, he's in the three. <laughs> Drink that in! <laughs> Out of 53 Raiders, you're one of the three that didn't make the cut. GM Puddle, unfortunately. <laughs> Team Bench GM. Why don't you go and collect us some uh, moats and primals? We'll give you DKP. Mm? DKPs. DKPs. All important points. You're never in a raid to spend them. So there's that. But you will be on the DKP sheet, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. <coughs> so Puddle's on rotation. So he does get to raid sometimes. Therefore, Puddle was pissed. Really pissed. I started to whisper Team 1. Bullying them out of the raid so he could get in. Back then I thought it was, a, it was an isolated incident. But having heard all the drama stories you read. Man, these people do it every time. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Anywho, he did that and so suddenly people left the raid. Then suddenly Puddle joined the raid and requested a summon. And as he was the only raider available, teams 1 and 2 raided at the same time. We had to take the piss Puddle. Piss Puddle couldn't do Magtheridon. Just couldn't do it. He fucked up every time. He actually completely stalled our progress. But then came that one particular night. I think you remember that I became a Resto Shami in preparation for Nax 40. So now being the healing role officer, ooh, I was assigned specifically to keep Puddle alive. As every channeler got one tank and one healer. Why me? Why me, I thought. But submitted to Lelatra's orders as she decided this would be best. And oh my god, did he put me to work. Let's just say, even with mana tiding and improved mana spring, I just couldn't keep up with his damage taken. I was ooming my ass by spam casting the highest heals I could. Even before we got to phase 3, I started to fucking hate Puddle. Oh, Puddle. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Puddle. <laughs> I know, a single target shaman healer. Amazing. Not even getting to chain heal. After that raid, I told Lelatra that if I was assigned to Puddle again, I was just going to AFK the raid, as it would make no difference to being Oom all the time anyway. And thank Odin, she replied with a, yeah, Puddle's in for a treat. I feel sorry for Puddle. He's the GM. He made the guild, man. He was the guy. After that raid, <laughs> the next raid night, Puddle wasn't even online. 
I can only imagine what kind of words of wisdom and advice that Lilatra passed on to him. Probably something amongst the likes is if you fucking spoil my minions once fucking more. Yeah, she used to call her raiders minions. Fucking hell, Lilatra. And then I will find you, and I swear I will rip you to shreds. She was a really kind person outside of raids, but when it came to raiding, suddenly things started to disappear from our guild rank. Guild bank. Of course, most of these things were potions, elixirs and the likes. Of course, it had to be Puddle's doing. But we didn't have any proof whatsoever. But our raid DP off DPS officer occurred. Bring in the enforcer! Had a rogue alt that was in the guild! What he then did was wait inside of the bank in Shatrath. Stealthed, of course! And when? And when Lilatra appeared, while no one else in the guild was online... They saw Puddle take things from the guild bank and leave. Curd was curious what the guy was doing with our stuff, and so he followed him. Not a long way, though. Not a long way. As Puddle's destination was in the same building. I thought it was going to be a plot twist too then. I was hyped, but no. The auctioneer. Lucky us. Curd fraps the whole thing, and when we confronted Puddle, he said... I'm the GM. It's my shit anyway. And you guys are no life retard elitist, mate. Boom! Noob comeback of the century. I need my fucking trash legendaries. You know why? You're all elitist pricks. That's what it is. Just because I make the raid die doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to raid. Mate. Just saying, because I'm the fucking GM. There was only one way to solve the issue. One night, all of the guild officers gathered around the guild bank. We took all the materials, potions, elixirs, food, and everything out. Puddle, being the raid leader, took all the gold, and we formed a new guild. The next day during the raid, though, a game master whispered Lilatra, interrogating her about what had just happened. She told him the whole thing, and what did the Blizz guy reply? No worries. Don't worry about it. And thus ended the tale of the shitlord guild master. That's right! Blizz was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> so you wasn't a hack. That's what Blizzard cares about. So you weren't hacked then? No. Okay. Fine. And you have permission to take stuff out of the guild bank? Yeah. <laughs> so, cool. No worries. <laughs> Fine. Have a good day, everybody. Be good. Right then. <laughs> Fucking Puddle got wrecked so hard. That story apparently continues next week. So stay tuned. Da -da -da -da. Bat time. Bat time. Right. Our final story. Oh, this is working quite well, actually. We might finish slightly early, but that's okay. Yeah, poor Lilatra. Outplayed. Okay. <clears throat> I need one person with an innocent name. An innocent name. Let's go with... Uh, yep, final one. Let's go with Felonil. Due to Felonil's innocence. Let's do it there. Right, HG, HGWT is Have Group Will Travel. Who remembers it? And it was fucking removed, man. It's the best thing ever. God damn it. <laughs> I absolutely hate that it was gone. I loved it so much. It was so useful. It was so useful. Right, well, I'm going with Fel... Fel how am I going to say this? Felonil. Felonil. I've got it. Felonil. Okay. <clears throat> it's a short tale. Short tale. <sighs> the characters are just myself and a young boy by the name of Felonil. Holla ballers. How's it hanging, preacher? And hopefully ghosty. No. I am Team USA, 20 years of age, and I've been a huge fan of Drama Friday, and I watch it whenever I get a spare moment. I also look to your class guides when I'm struggling. Keep up the good work. I have a little short story for you today about the greatest troll I ever pulled off. Using arguably the greatest raid tool ever in the game, which it was. So good. So, so good. Bastards. Does anybody know why it was removed? And it kept getting changed. Does anybody know? Never forget. Does anybody know? I'd be interested if you guys know why it did eventually get taken out of the game. Which was bullshit. Because they could have fixed it. Fuckers. They could have fixed it. It was so good. Okay. 
We're in late Cataclysm. I was leveling a new tune later on in Kata. It was my first expansion. I know what you're thinking. I'm not thinking anything. <laughs> I'm not judging anybody who started the game late. <laughs> what kind of idiot would that be? And I had just gotten to Goldshire on my new level 6 human mage. I noticed that there was a warrior by the name of Felonil. Swinging at a boar with a staff. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> I thought, what the fuck is that guy doing? I went over and I asked him, I said, Felonil, why are you hitting a boar with a staff, young warrior? He told me that he was getting some XPs so he could level up and become stronger like his brother. Yeah? Good lad. I was feeling generous. So I showed him around Goldshire. Helped him with a few quests. I also introduced him to the idea of the friends window. And whispers. So that I could help him later on. He was low on dollar -y dues. So I decided to give him a gold. So that he could at least have some male armour. Instead of the missing pieces and cloth that he was wearing at the time. We kept on talking, and I was out leveling with my BOAs as we continued a conversation in Whisper. During our conversations, he told me that he was nine years old. Nine. That's underage, motherfucker! Get the fuck out! Eleven! Minimum! Nine! Fuck off! Yeah? Not welcome! No, well, I'll get my ass out. I'll fucking fart all over you. I will. I will. I'll do it. It'll be Dutch ovens all over this motherfucker if you don't leave. Fucking nine years old. Get out. Yeah? Loser. Just saying. I didn't think much of it. He's nine. It's fine. And we continued to talk. He was very grateful. Very grateful. Of all my help. And when he logged off for the night... I continued to level because I wasn't nine and didn't have to go to bed at seven o'clock at night. I reached level 37 before logging off for the night. Oh, that reminds me. I had to level a little bit on the Warlock today. Leveling is so shit in BOAs. Like, so bad. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. But maybe it's not even BOAs. But leveling in WoW right now from fresh is awful. It's like the worst experience ever. I just pressed corruption. Just never stopped. Never, never did anything. It's the worst fucking thing ever. I can't even believe it's so bad. Did you know? Did you fucking know? You don't even do a quest anymore to get a fucking Voidwalker. They just give it you. You know how I got mine? I crossed the road and got Discovery Experience and it gave me a Voidwalker. What is that? The fuck is that? Is this... What the fuck happened? Why is this the way it is? It's awesome. Are you out of your minds? It's so boring. I can't even fucking believe it. It's um, outrageously boring. Why would you not have people do the quests for Void Walkers and Fell Hunters and stuff? That shit was awesome. It was so much fun. I can't fucking believe it. I was just like, what? You don't even do a quest for your mount. I just don't... I don't get it. That's not fun. It's the worst thing ever. I just... Class fantasy. What's... Exactly. We're going back to class fantasy. So you removed the quests on how to summon demons from the Twisting Nether. That's not class fantasy. A better class fantasy is you just learn how to do it randomly, just walking through the park one day, and I was like, oh, I can level, I can summon a void walker now. Forever. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I could, and you get it at like level six. I wanted to film it, right? That's what I did. I wanted to film it. I got it like four levels too early. I'm sure it was level 10, right? Was it Fer Feral 10? Yeah. <laughs> it used to be level 10. It's fucking bizarre. I can't believe the system these days. I was like, this is fucking crazy. My god. <laughs> Class fantasy. They removed it in Kata. Why? It was fun. It was cool. It made you care about your Voidwalker. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm... Am I old school for thinking it was fun to do a quest to get a, a new demon for the rest of your playing existence? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, am I crazy for thinking that was kind of cool? No, nope, just got it. It's like, okay, you learned summon Voidwalker. <laughs> Why? Why did I learn that? What happened? I don't understand. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't, 
sure. Whatever. Uh, fine. I'm glad I never have to level again because that is awful. <laughs> it's the worst. Th that that it took me like 20 minutes or something to get level 10. It's the worst thing I've ever done in ages in WoW. It was awful. So bad. Uh, talk about just skipping through everything. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. So I might got to level 37 before he logged off to the night. But when he logged in the next day, I got a whisper. Do you need to do a quest to get defensive stands? Or do you just get it? I really want to know that. Do you just get it? Yeah, about 20 minutes. That's about right. You know, it's an undead. You have to do all this running about. And then you have to find Lillian Voss. There's like a little story with Lillian Voss. <laughs> that takes me like five. None of you can get to level 10 in five minutes. You just get it. There you go. None of you. I challenge you. Send me a link to a recording on YouTube of you getting level 10 in five minutes without using Recruit a Friend. Just saying. Just saying. And you have to be an undead. Right. Here's a challenge for you then. Here's a challenge. Right? <laughs> here's a challenge. Send me a link. I'll send you a prize for the first person that does it. If you can get a warlock to level 10 in five minutes. An undead warlock. Without using Recruit a Friend. Undead warlock. You've got five minutes. Do it. Do it. Yeah, you can't do Recruit a Friend. Yeah, BOAs are allowed. Go BOAs. I had BOAs on. I didn't have the rings. I haven't got the castle one. Whatever. I'm not doing the fishing thing. Okay. <clears throat> I continued leveling to 37. But the next day, I got a whisper. How did you do that? He said. Can you use potions? Fuck off. No. Come on. Just put your BOAs on and do it. You're saying I should have done it in five minutes. As if you're potioning from level one. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Don't really chat. Are you going to enchant and shit? Yeah, wear heirlooms. Experience potions? Fucking hell. You guys are a bunch of cheeses. But yeah, go for it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> go for it. I'll be impressed. I will be impressed. I'll send you a prize. Don't worry about it. Okay. <clears throat> How did you do that? What? I replied. How did you get all the way to level 37? He asked. I replied. Be your ways, bro. BOAs, mate. After explaining how BOAs worked and a great many other things that are actually really trivial in the game, <laughs> poor, old, poor old Felonil really started to get on my nerves with his nine-year-old questions. <sighs> he then started to talk about girls and it hit me. It was time to fuck this guy over. Oh, come on. <laughs> I could get to 102 minutes or like 10 in a second or something. I could do that as well. <laughs> I could also get to 100 in a few minutes. Oh, don't fuck you. He's nine. Oh, you shouldn't be playing the game, but don't fuck over a nine-year-old. I told fella though about my level 85 Drenai female shaman and asked him if he wanted to see her. He was very excited and asked me if I had a mount or any epics. Oh, do you have any, do you have any purples? Wow. Wow. He was very excited and responded with a yes in all caps. I flew my shaman from Stormwind and landed near Felonil on my Drake of the Northwind mount. Felonil was going nuts. I asked him if he wanted a mount like mine. Felonil said yes. Very excited and told me that he wanted one really, really bad. I told him that I would whisper him instructions on how to get it. At this point, I had him to group and flew to the top of Blackrock Mountain. I explained that in order to get the mount, you had to unlock it using a secret. I explained he had to get rid of his gear by selling it and make sure his bags were empty, including hearthstones, for it to work. It took him a long time as I had to explain to him how to sell things. But eventually he said, I am ready. So I used Have Group Will Travel. I summoned him to the top of the mountain. And when he appeared on the mountain naked, I left the group, blocked him, and flew away. Dick! He's nine! He's fucking nine years old! No! No! Scumbag! He's fucking nine! Just tell him to calm down! <laughs> it doesn't always work. I remember the young chap who was in our Star Wars The Old Republic guild going bananas because he was in our guild and me and Ghosty were online and we just said, just chill out a bit. That's all we said. It's just like, hey, it's cool, man. Just relax. Left the guild immediately because we were cunts and spammed YouTube videos for like two weeks. <laughs> you guys are a fucking bunch of dickheads. That's all we got out of him. Crazy. <laughs> he never spoke to me again. But frankly, I didn't care. I'm getting wifey aggro. What's going on? Oh, no. Is that chocolate? Yeah. Have you got a lot of chocolate on your face? 
Are you a chocolate face? Yeah, you are. High five. <laughs> High five. Yeah. Uh, Daddy'll be out in a minute. Come on. I never heard from the kid again, and frankly, I didn't care. I continued raiding even into the dog poo. Bye. The mop was, and worse, the cow mud. The, that was what. I hope you enjoyed my story. I have more stories about being the biggest phallus in World of Warcraft. I will submit them later if my story is read. Thank you, Preacher. Have an amazing day. Yeah, Max Agro. Chocolate, he has got chocolate all over his face. <laughs> he's covered in chocolate. I don't know what... Well, he's been eating chocolate. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know what he's been doing. But he's been eating chocolate. That's how I worked it out. He's a chocolate face. All good. <laughs> the censorship is real. <laughs> You've got to censor yourself, man. I can't do my show in front of my kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't do it. You guys know what it's like. <clears throat> you guys know what it's like. The censorship is real. That brings us with three minutes to spare. Awesome. To the end of drama time for this week. But there will be another one of the more interesting variety. Hopefully tomorrow, web show, me and Ghosty are going to be here. Me and Ghosty are going to be side by side. How I'm going to set up the room, I have no idea. It could be a complete mess, but it's going to be awesome. No, I don't put my kids on stream anymore. If I can possibly avoid it. We avoid that kind of stuff these days. Sad times, but still. Sad is the way it goes. Thank you, everybody. Remember, if you are a Patreon supporter, the Legacy video should be out tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy a couple of hours with my kids, then put them in bed, and then I'm going to start the all-nighter. It's going to be a long, long evening, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And then it'll be out for everybody who's not a Patreon guy next week. And then I'll be back to the Alpha Wow stuff probably Sunday, but realistically speaking, Monday, right? I'm just, I'm going to take a break. I'm a little bit fried, but we're going to get that done. Thank you for tuning in, guys. It's been an awesome show as always. Great stories from everybody. Remember, send your stories to drama at preachgaming.com. Send them in, anything, doesn't matter. Well, sometimes a story you don't think is funny, I'll find something in it. All right? So be good, guys. Be good. Bye-bye.